right, Survivor's Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Vex Super Hostile Mod Pack. We have a castle. We have conquered. We came. We saw. We conquered, and now we own it. Um, so let's let's make it official. Let us make it all official, like by taking down these signs that say Witchbane Abbey, and let's put them up. You know, let's give it a name. So somebody. Gave me a great suggestion in the comments in the last episode and keep those comments coming and the feedback and the likes and all that jazz it is very much appreciated so we're gonna go ahead and call this griffin keep yes based on the fact that we had a whole bunch of griffins wild griffins over here help us conquer it um they did quite a wonderful job the dwarves kind of stood around and watched so we're not going to call it dwarf keep <laughs> so let's uh let's honor our griffin friends by naming the keep after them griffin keep dun, 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 dun. all right so what are we going to do today now that we have a keep it's big it's glorious it's empty <laughs> <laughs> Although we do have some horses. We killed a lot of Kniggets and uh, they left their horses behind. Some with saddles, some without. But I'm pretty sure when we go and get our own NPCs and our own troops and knights, we'll be able to um, just tell them to hop on a horse. And I think the saddle is created automatically. I'm not sure. We do have some armor here, though, and one saddle. Anyway, we can make more saddles. Not a big deal. So I think the first order of business is to go out and get some NPCs and we have to find a friendly town for that and then once we get to the friendly town we have to give them food <laughs> so there's a bundle that we can give them right here uh, I was looking this up food bundle because apparently if you give them a nice bundle of food they will love you so much that they'll come and join your cause <laughs> and there's all kinds of bundles here we have a fishy bundle with potatoes more fishy bundles calamari bundle nice a wabbit bundle, chicken bundle, so this, this shouldn't be too difficult. We just have to get the... I don't know if we have baked potatoes. Let's go check the barracks. I did put some signs up around here. We have a barracks A and a barracks B so far. Oh, here we go. We got um, we got the baked potatoes. We have the cooked pork chop. So it looks like maybe we can make the porky one. Yeah, where's the porky one? Perfect, right here. We can make the porky food bundle. <laughs> <laughs> pork and potatoes and some purified oh uh oh wait a minute i have a couple of those right yeah all right well i don't have much and i'm gonna need those for me i guess we can make more purified water eventually um well let's do it right now well, there's a workbench right here how perfect oh, gotta get my purified water out let's um let's just make one bundle for now because we're not really sure how these npcs work um so we'll make one bundle we'll try to hire one person with a porky bundle <laughs> and then uh we'll bring it back here and put them to work or something i don't know what kind of person we're going to find uh, i'm thinking maybe a guardian would be nice I'd love to get somebody up on this um on the ballista i just made that stair up here by the way just to make it a shorter route because you, otherwise you'd go all the way around and uh visit the, the, the nuns in the detainment center over there but anyway yeah i'd love to get somebody on this thing um we have to make up some bolts and i have figured that out by the way how to make the bolts thanks to vex he's giving me some tips and he usually comments in all the videos so don't miss those because he leaves some pretty good information um so we can make the bolts we just have to do it on a special ancient warfare uh workbench good morning ladies how are we today um they haven't tried to escape so we're not going to lock them in they seem they seem very cooperative and we're going to leave them right there in the detainment center until we know what to do with them <laughs> i don't know yet <laughs> we got a bunch of people inside here too which is going to basically be our town hall <laughs> or maybe my throne room <laughs> dun, 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 dun. check it out huh i'm gonna put a throne right here i shall be the king of all the lands king punchwood right <laughs> these are my subjects so far um all prisoners of war and I set up over here. I, I got to take this top layer off because you can't put stuff down on that top layer. Um, not that it's a big deal right now, but that's something we'll do in the future. And before we go, I have to do some repairs. So we can actually repair our silver and weapons and armor and all that jazz as long as you have the proper ingredients. And I'm going to go ahead and repair. I wanted to repair this. Putting it on the anvil here. And then we drop in some silver and it's one two uh two levels which isn't bad it keeps all the 
lovely, it's not really an enchantment, they're just attributes, right? All the attributes stay, which is perfect. And I made up some boots here too, but they have step height. And I really, oh, no, don't put them in your hand. <laughs> put them on your feet. It uses the auto, you know, the auto jump thing, auto hop. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. And it forces me to use it, even though I don't like it. I'd prefer to jump over blocks. Like, watch this. You know, this guy, like, bloop, whoop, whoop. No, I don't like that. Don't like that. I like to jump. Hi, ladies. Good morning. So, anyway, all right, enough talk. Let's go out and go find a friendly NPC town. And then we'll feed somebody a porky bundle. And then we'll make a new friend, I think. So, let's have a look at the map. Figure out where to go. Maybe we should just continue kind of in a northerly direction since that's the way we came from down here, down home, right? We just keep going north. And we have to find a uh, ancient warfare village, not a normal village, an ancient warfare village. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. All right, let me just make sure we have everything we need. Of course, I don't have much here anyway, but <laughs> I'll just double check, and then we'll be on our way on another grand adventure to get some friends and some troops to uh, live here and help us. Oh, here we go. You know, we should we should bring our money. Um, the money doesn't seem to be great. According to Vex, the money doesn't really it doesn't allow us to buy anything that's all that fantastic. Because the stuff that we can find and craft on our own is usually better. But we're going to bring some anyway. Can't hurt. All right. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's ride or fly. Up, up, and away, Becca. All right, let's turn it around. But I do want to switch to that view. There we go. So we can see our whole castle keep in all its beautiful glory. So, I'm not sure, like, how much time I'm going to spend here as opposed to our A-frame. I mean, I love the A-frame in the barn, but I think we're going to turn this probably into, I, a, like, a huge workshop. And it's also a warehouse function that, um, that this Ancient Warfare mod gives us that's really, really convenient for crafting and storing inventory. Um, and I'm thinking about doing it inside this building. So, my guess is we're going to be using the A-frame as kind of our, our home. It's going to be at the home, away from home. We'll go back there and see our friends every once in a while. Um, and maybe use that as like a vacation spot. What the heck is going on down there? Oh, there's piggies. There's piggies in a hole. <laughs> what? What is this over here, by the way? It's like some old ruin, right? It's like a garden that got overgrown and uh, was just not maintained very well. But there's like some kind of a piggy down here. This is very strange. Of course, now it's getting dark. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. What is that sound? I think I hear, I think I hear a spider. I hear a spider? Oh, there's a hole right here. Oh, there's, uh, there's brick down there. Oh, I wonder if this is like the dungeon. Interesting. Is this supposed to be part of the keep or is this like a whole different generated structure? <laughs> I think it's got to be part of the keep because it's all within the same boundary. Yeah, this ancient warfare adds a lot of different, uh, a lot of different structures. Now, how do we get down there? I guess we can just jump, but then getting back up is going to be a problem. All right, well, I'm coming down. Wee! Hi, piggies. <laughs> oh, I hear. I think I hear a goblin. Is this like a goblin? Oh, there is a goblin down here. This goblin's hi hi hiding underneath the Witchbane Castle. Holy smokes! Did you guys know that? I think the pigs are working with the goblins. <laughs> this guy's stuck in. The in the uh, in the webs, that's fantastic. Uh, oh, there's a goblin right there. Are they spawning in here? I wonder. Oh, I don't want to kill the piggies. Actually, might as well. We could use the pork. Now, I, I wonder if the goblins are spawning down here. Hey, what are you doing to that pig? You creep. Come on. Come and get what's coming to you, buddy. I love this little sword. Amethyst sword, unbreaking too. It's pretty fast. Does decent damage. Whoop. Oh, there is, there's, there's, whoa! Oh my, there's a bubbly fubbly, uh, is that a goblin? A lot of bubbly fubblies. <laughs> oh no! Ugh. This thing has really short reach. Yeah, there's bubbly fubblies over there. Alright, we're gonna have at, let's shoot them with, uh, with our wand, and that way we'll get some experience for it, because we need experience from the wand. We're at 907 out of a thousand. We get a thousand, we can upgrade this thing to um, the next level, which is Apprentice, I think, right? And we get, whoa, what the heck was that? Holy cow, that guy leaped over all the, all the webbing. All right, cows, you gotta get out of the way, you gotta get through, sorry. 
Gotta get through here. I think a silver weapon might be better down here with the undead. Let's light it up. You know, do I have a bucket of water? A bucket of water would actually serve here quite well to get rid of these things. Oh, there's a little bat down here. There we go. There you go, little piggy wiggies. Okay, what did we get? Ooh, that guy dropped a lot of good stuff. This is a cool spot. Oh, excuse me. What's this right here? Watch out for booby traps. I just don't trust this place. So hold on. Let's just go over here. I'm going to take some of these webs out of the way. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the, this on top, obviously, first. And I'm a little worried about that. Nothing? Nothing. No kaboom? <gasps> Ooh, a broken heart. Lethal damage destroys empty heart containers instead. Oh, so this is like a lifesaver. If you die, this will protect you. Sleep to regenerate heart containers. That's a bauble. That thing is fantastic. We got some gunpowder. We have a new spellbook. Apprentice. A fiery crystal. Um, we got some new albums here. Another spellbook. Apprentice. We don't know what these are until we identify them. It's a magic missile book, which you already have, but I'll take another one. Watermelon seeds could be good. All right. Let's, um, oh boy, I'm going to move stuff into my backpack. What did that guy drop here? A silver katana. Oh, that's real nice. That is real nice. And a steel throwing axe. Oh, you can throw this thing. <laughs> we need to try that. All right, the rest of this, I'm going to put it in my backpack for now. And then um, we'll go get organized and then go look for a friendly castle. What is that? We got a uh, skeleton coming. I want to throw this thing at him. Can I? Do I have the agility for Oh, I don't. I don't have the agility for that yet. Hey! Shot me. All right, let's put this bauble, the bauble, on somewhere. Where does that go? Right there. goes right in your heart. Aw. Lethal damage destroys empty heart containers instead. Yeah, it's like the to um, the totem. Right? It'll save our life if we die. Oh, yep. There have got my silver shoes just lifting me automatically. Again, not a huge fan of that. <laughs> Why are there so many pigs down here? <laughs> do goblins keep pigs? I guess they do. Watch out for the booby traps, look for trip wires. Oop, something's happening over here. Are the pigs spawning in? I mean, there's a few chests out here, huh? Alright, I guess we cleared it out. Oh my, look at all this good stuff. A firebomb. Ooh, that's what we need to use against the big groups. That would have been very helpful against the, uh, the groups of um, soldiers that we were fighting before. When we took over the castle. An ancient relic. Small stone tablet. Engineering bench. Ooh, we need that. Yes, we need the engineering bench in order to make... Um, oh, we got new chapters unlocked in our ancient compendium. Yes, this is how we make certain things like the bolts. Apparently, we don't need to do the research. That has been disabled. So that's something we'll look into. We got a cracked black dragon scale. It's another bauble. Black dragon scales are said to protect against withering. Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay, this is some really good stuff. An advanced spell book. Antlers I don't really need. We can get those from the near manuscripts. I think we're going to need. All right, don't need the albums. All right, let's go check out the other chest. Peggy, what are you hiding back there? Get out of the way. <laughs> Come on, get off that thing. Sunglasses grants immunity to blindness. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Man, there's so many baubles in this mod pack. It's insane. Mystical crystals. Holy cow. I'm going to have to make two trips down here. We're full. All right. All right. Stop. Stop shoving, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll take the saddle and the iron. Uh, the wormhole potion we don't really need, honestly. Uh, golden apple's good. And this thing. Mystical wizardy thing. All right. Wow, so many pigs. I don't know what's going on here. In another chest. Oh, Tome of Arcana Master. So this will upgrade from advanced to master. All right. And another bauble. We already have that necklace, don't we? Oh, something's exploding. I hope that wasn't Becca. Oh, boy. All right. I'm going to go unload all this stuff. And then come back down and get the rest of the stuff because it's just too dang much to carry. <laughs> All right, let's see what's over here. Another chest. Oh wow, 
Oh, look, food bundles. There are two food bundles right here. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh, another one. Four food bundles. A sharpness five book. Holy cow. All right, I'm full. I got to come back down here. I'm going to run back up, unload, and then come back down and get the rest of this loot. So much of it. Whoa. Holy cow. Where did these guys come from? Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 jeez. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back it up. Get out of the way. What am I stuck on? Oh, get off. <laughs> Sorry, piggy. Oh my gosh. We got some bubbly fubblies here. This is not good. I can't get off this dang thing. Web. Woo. Wow. I did not expect any opposition on the way out. That's a nice rapier right there. We're going to pick that up. What is in here? Who's growling? The piggy? Nah. A balloon increases jump height and negates some fall damage. Cobalt shield grants immunity to knockback when held or equipped in a bauble slot. All right. I need to go unloading and then come back down because I just have too much stuff. I can't carry it all. Oh, hi. Okay. I'm back. And check out that two-handed katana. <laughs> With one hand, huh? Um, although it is technically a two-handed weapon, if you use it with a shield, it, um, it slows it down a lot, as we saw earlier. But look at this thing. It's got a two-speed, which is super fast, in two hands. And it's got nice enchantments. Mounted Strike 5 and Sharpness 5. Wow, that thing's beast. And here's all the other loot that we have so far. Yeah, it's just a hodgepodge of stuff that I'm going to go through and figure out what it all is later. <laughs> That Sharpness 5 book is tremendous. I just don't know what to put it on yet. Now, before we go back, let's um, let's boost that thing up. This thing is almost to 1,000 progression, which means we'll be able to level up, level it up, and we're going to be able to do that now with these tomes here. So I think um, I think we should do that, but I'm, I don't want to lose track of what I had planned for the day. <laughs> I want to go find an NPC, and now we have four food bundles. We can get maybe four people and bring them back here. And start populating our keep, the uh, the Griffin keep. But um, it's hard to pass up all that loot in here. There's just so much of it. I kind of feel like there's too much loot, to be honest. So that's something Vex might want to look into and maybe rebalance it, because it's just so much stuff. I mean, I'm gonna make two, three, four trips. I love this little grove right here. It is really, really cool. All right, let's just um, well, let's just map the whole thing out, and then we're gonna go and try to find a friendly city and maybe hire some dudes today. Oh, excuse me, Piggy. Sorry. Coming through. Coming through. Now, what is that over there? It's like bars and green. Um, hold on. Let me get my bucket of water out here. It's going to make this a lot easier. Are you guys all stuck here? There we go. We're going to set you all free. Although, I, I guess they can't really get out, can they? <laughs> now, what is this over here? Hmm... Is this a different dungeon? Oh, I think it is. It's kind of a different style. Whoa, boy, hold up. We got a bubbly fubbly. Uh, yeah, this might actually not be the same dungeon. Um, oh, hold on. What is this? Oh, it's a, it's an exit or entrance. Secret entrance slash exit. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Nothing to see here, cow. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, okay. Well, that could have give a, uh, given us a uh, a way in before. Oh, there they go. They're, they're leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. You're free. Born free. Turn around, pig. <laughs> this guy doesn't want to wait for the guy in front of him. I think they're a little bit scared. They don't know what to expect out here in the wild world. <laughs> it's a little wild, all right. Hi. Here they come. Come on out, everybody. You're free. Here we go. We've just provided them a means to get out. Hey, hey! This guy doesn't want them to leave, apparently. I'm going to come down there and wreck your face. My Catania. Oh, look at this. Leads into a, a natural cave. Ooh. Oh, I hear some splashing. I am totally sidetracked right here. What is that? Is that a Bernie bro? It's a haunted tool. I'm stab him. Yeah, this is, uh, this is just a natural cavern. What is all this over here? Skeleton warrior and an ender eye. What the heck is that thing? 
Oh no. We don't really want them milling around underneath the castle, do we? Nope. We sure do not. Alright. Small cave. Nothing nothing big. Nothing to write home about. Well, hey, hey, hey. Alright, let's just map the whole thing out and get rid of all these um, these webs. Then I'll come back and get all the loot off camera because I know there's a ton of it. I'm looking at all this good stuff. I mean, there's good stuff here. I just don't feel like going through it all right now. <laughs> all right, pigs, you're free. Okay, we have seen this one before, right? Wow, look at this cobalt shield. Uh, hey, might as well grab that right now. We can put that to good use. That's just a bauble, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Grants immunity to knockback when held or equipped. No knockback? We're immune to knockback. That is pretty amazing. Increased jump height and negate some fall damage. Well, that was pretty good, too. All right, we're not going to pass up the baubles, at least. And then a wand cooldown upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade the wand with that. That's cool. All right, the rest of the stuff I'll just come back for. Let's just check these real quick. A lucky horseshoe negates fall damage. Why did the horse need this? The horse didn't need it, but I sure do. Just stick it right there. Negates fall damage. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> so if we have a fall off Becca, which could potentially happen, right? And we've been in this one, right? All right I'm going to come back to all that stuff later. All right, pigs, you're free to go. Um, there's an exit right here. Secret exit. Go for it. Ain't nobody going to stop you. Oh, we got more webs over here. Oh, I hear somebody. Hi! What's up? You seem stuck. We got goblins and bubbly fubblies. Alright, well, let's just light this up. This place is giant. Are you riding on that pig? That seems wrong. Let me let me help you, piggy. Let me get that guy off your back. There we go. Yeah, these pigs are literally spawning in here. So there's, there's gotta be some pig spawners in the ground somewhere. <laughs> Which is, I, I don't understand the uh, the meaning behind that. There must be some kind of reference. It's a piggy dungeon and another cobalt shield. We already have one, so I'm not going to grab that. Radiant crystal. Yeah, okay, a lot, of, a lot of good stuff. I'll come back for it another time. Is there another chest here? Oh, my gosh. Yes, indeed there is. But no baubles. Yeah, I'm only interested right now in the baubles. We're all baubled up. We got all the baubles. Really good ones. So I think we should go. Is this the way out? Yes, this is the way. Oh, we can go out the, I guess out this way too, right? <laughs> out the secret exit slash entrance. Look at that. We can climb right up the vines, get on Becca, and then we'll go. And another little cyan flower over here in the grove. Such a peaceful grove. We're going to have to put like... Maybe some dryads in here, some of those bumblebee girls. Maybe monster girls back here in the grove. That'd be nice. Just gotta cover that hole. Look at this, two more hearts. Holy cow. <laughs> there we go, almost four and a half uh, full bars of health. That's crazy. All right, let's go to bed and we can just jump right off the ledge, not take any damage. Ready? Whee! Oh, that is tremendous. And that's super great when you're flying around on Becca, for example, because sometimes I hit the wrong button and I fall off. I hit shift to go faster, like turbo mode, you know? Um, but that's actually dismount <laughs> in this game. So it's extremely dangerous. Oh, what is this right here? Look at that tree. Oh, there's a big green one over there. Oh, wow. And a big tree right here. Oh, what the heck? Who are these guys? Ents. Oh, hi, guys. Ent father and ent mother. Are they nice? Hi. They seem nice. That's cool. Maybe we can bring them to our grove. Now, what is the sign? Look at this tree. It's enormous. Hello, how we doing? Entling. That's like their kid. His mom and dad. How tall are you? Look how tall they are. <laughs> wow. They're enormous. Fortunately, they seem friendly. I'm kind of curious what happens if I put my axe in my hand. Anything? Nothing. Oh, I hear growling. Okay, nope. It's gone. No axe. 
Can I go in your house? Can I open that up? Oh, this is so cool. I want to live in this house. I want to live in their treehouse. This is amazing. <laughs> Druids up here. Oh, are you friends with the Ents? I bet they are. Can we can we trade with them? Oh, we can. We can give them bread for tulips. Okay, or I can just go pick my own, you know. <laughs> Birch saplings, feathers, mushrooms. Yeah, they don't really have very much, do they? What's in here? This inventory belongs to the good. It will not open for you. The closest enemy is marked. <gasps> closest enemy. Guardian Druid. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not good? Well, what's wrong with me? I gotta kill this guy to open the chest? <laughs> is that gonna make me good? I don't think so. I think this is gonna make me even worse. Hey, I got some uh, pork bundles. Would you like one? Nog does not want a pork bundle. All right, fine. Well, this is all very cool and everything, but I gotta go now. All right. So I guess, is, the, is there like an alignment system here? Do I have to be not good? Back up, flapping. Back away, flapping. Becca wants to go. She's in a hurry. All right, fine. Let's go. What's wrong with you? Becca seems stuck or something. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, there's a little dryad kid. Hold on. Wait, is that really the first time I picked up seeds? Are you kidding me? Or the poppy? Oh, one or the other. I think I just saw like a little, a little child dryad. That was cute. Oh, wait. What is it? Oh, it's a whittle. It's a whittle dryad. Oh my gosh. How adorable. You are the cutest little thing. What's your name, kid? Oh gosh. Look out. We got we got an incoming burning zombie. And a void creeper. It's a rocket creeper. All right, let's not play with the rocket creeper. Um, run home, little kid. It's dangerous out here in the jungle. Go. Go home. Where's your mommy? I wonder if she lives in this tree with the druids. So cute. Let's just do a flyby over here. By this ruin. I'm just curious to see what it is. I don't want to go in it. I've seen enough dungeons for one day, I think. But it looks pretty cool. Are there NPCs in here? Uh, nope. There is a chest. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? What the heck? Is that a worm? Oh, it's a hydra. It's a three-headed hydra. It looks like maybe it has poison. Oh, wow. That looks like some real nasty poison. You better run, buddy. <laughs> He's trying to get away. Maybe while the, while the hydra's away, we can steal the hydra's loot. Oh, wow. Diamond pickaxe, diamond axe, and a diamond sword. <laughs> Not even that good, really, compared to some of the other stuff we get. Oh, oh boy. We got poisoned. All right, well, you know what? Let's um, let's leave the Hydra alone for the time being. I still want to find a friendly village.